So some of you might notice I have a pretty bad sunburn on my face. But the show must go on. It's not all bad, now I'll just look extra angry all the time. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? So a 32-year-old man has forced his wife into signing a sex slave contract. After only being married for a couple of months, he forced his wife into becoming his slave. She only recently got up the courage to call the police and tell them what was happening. And now this guy's in a lot of trouble. He's being charged for 38 counts of rape, among a lot of other charges. I feel like in the article they didn't want to get into details of what exactly he was doing to her because it was probably too graphic. He was apparently strangling her, among other abusive things. This woman first met this man on Craigslist. That's your first problem. You don't try to meet the love of your life on Craigslist. If someone is searching for love on Craigslist, there's something wrong with them. But he made it seem like he was a godly man and she was a very Christian woman. They got along really well and they hit it off. And then eventually they got married. And then after two months he revealed that he's a sadist, which means that he can only get off sexually if he hurts people. She said it started out as experimentation, then it escalated quickly to abuse. And I'm sure if she didn't call the police when she did, it would have escalated to murder eventually. I wonder if this was this guy's plan the whole time, like he wanted to just lure in a nice Christian woman and then eventually turn her into his slave. Or maybe he just couldn't decide what he wanted to be. Maybe he was a godly man because he knew he was a sadist and he's like, when I hurt people, I can just confess. I'll be alright. Apparently this woman would be screaming every day at the top of her lungs when she was being tortured, just hoping that the neighbors would hear and call the police for her. But apparently her neighbors aren't too bright because they said they heard a lot of screaming and a lot of fighting all the time and a lot of loud noises. But they said they thought it was just a normal couple. You know, fighting. That's not normal fighting. I feel like the neighbors should be able to tell the difference between domestic abuse and an argument. But it's hard to say that because sometimes you just don't want to overstep your boundaries. You don't want to step in on someone else's situation. You think they're a nice happy couple, you don't know what's going on behind those doors. But it would have been nice if at some point one of these neighbors noticed and stepped in to save this woman, or at least just called the police and said, you know, something's not right here, they fight all the time. If you're hearing a woman screaming help at the top of her lungs, that's not an argument, that's a woman screaming for help. They also noticed that the woman always wore a black collar. A black leather collar around her neck. Even when she went to the bus stop, everywhere she went, she had to wear this black leather collar, and apparently it was in her contract. But I don't understand, if he's letting you go to the bus stop, at what point don't you just decide to just go to the police? Go from the bus to the police and be like, I'm finally out. This guy's a fucking psychopath. But then I find out the worst thing about this whole story. She has a kid. So maybe she didn't go to the police right away because she was worried about her kid's safety. Sometimes after her kid went to school, he would lock her head in her hands in a wooden box. I'm guessing one of these things. And sometimes he would duct tape her and tie her up all day long. But seriously, that poor kid having to live in that kind of environment, you know he wasn't always waiting till the kid was gone. I'm sure this kid overheard a lot of fucked up shit happening to his mom. But I'm glad this woman finally built up the courage to get out of this situation, which shows she does have a brain. It was only a matter of time before he took this abuse too far and killed her. And for future reference, don't try to find love on Craigslist, okay? I'm sure you can find a lot of great things on Craigslist, but love? I doubt that. Super extra angry! Let's show her the Viking way! Ha 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 ha!